Hey fellow unicyclist, in this video I'm gonna show you how I've been putting light on my unicycle so you can do it for yourself and ride safely at night. Plus, I think this looks pretty cool, so let's get into it. So, first of all, the tools you're gonna need. You're gonna need some uh, soldering uh, stuff, some uh, scissor and copper bender, and a hot glue gun. And for your LED unicycle, you're gonna need this LED kit, a small power bank, some zip tire, bench of cable, uh, this which is like uh, something that you use to make stuff, I don't know what you call it in English, and a bit of super glue. Easy as. Just a small note that I'm actually saying that this is to build a LED unicycle, but same way around, you can do it on your bike, on your car, on your saxophone, on your kids, on your cat, I mean do whatever you want. And the good news is that if you are interested I can make you a kit with all the props I've just listed. So I can just ship it to you and it make it easy to make the unicycle. Uh, I'll talk about it more at the end of the video. This is my plan. Uh, so uh, on green, like the green line here, are basically where I put some LED and then what I will do is like I'm gonna get the wire I'm gonna roll it around my uh, handlebar and then I'm gonna have kind of like a big uh, connection going to like everywhere around so that's a bit different from if you have like just a normal 20 uh, inch unicycle but uh, you're gonna figure it out so first of all you want to Choose where you're gonna put your LED stripe and cut your stripe at the length needed for your purpose. You cut your light, you always want to cut them like here when you are between. Can you focus on it? Yeah, you want to cut it like choose here on the between and you want to cut as much as you can in the middle because we're gonna solder back here, okay? And then you're gonna need to cut your cable to go from one LED stripe to another one. So just look at a unicycle about how much distance you want and cut one cable accordingly. For each connection, you're gonna need four cable, like for the red, the blue, and the green, and the ground. So once you have your first cable, just use the first one to cut three of them of the exact same length. And uh, then once we got this, we're gonna get to solder. So now, first of all, you want to bear the cable, just bear a few millimeter uh, on every connection that will be on the LED. If you are not used to do it, just check some tutorial. It take a bit of time to get the move, but very soon, you're gonna do this like a pro. Yeah, done. Okay, so once you got all your wire and your LED cut, everything is ready, we're gonna pass to soldering. I know that soldering can be a bit like intimidating when you're not used to do it, but it's actually way easier than people think, or at least easier than I thought before I start doing it. And if you do not have an iron soldering at home, I recommend you to just check if there is a fab lab in your region. Fab lab, I will write it here. Uh, there are like some open space where people can just try to do stuff and there is already a lot of tools there and there will be people to give you advice. There is Fab Lab in most major city. So yeah, if you do not have any knowledge and do not have the tools, check if there is a Fab Lab, get the things and go and do it there, you're gonna have great advice. So for now, I'm gonna start soldering. I remember the first time I've been building some electronic on my own and the satisfaction and the excitement of finally making something with electronic while we are all surrounded by electronic stuff that we barely understand. So being able to do something with my own hands gave me the feeling of taking back the control on this surroundings that we often don't understand and I really wish you could experience this too so if I can do anything to help you building your own LED unicycle or any other project feel free to send me an email and ask me a question and I'll do what I can to help you for this. So 
Now I've been soldering most of the wire to the LED and uh, I will just show you a bit how do I plan to do all things. So back to my drawing. As I'm currently doing it on my 36 inch unicycle, I have a bit more LEDs and connection. Yeah, I love that I'm doing a tutorial, but I'm already doing something quite different from what I'm thinking. But uh, like, that's the idea. You know, it's like everything in life. Like, first time you've been trying unicycle. I'm sure that you got on it, and you fall, and the next time you get better on it. Yeah, this is the same. You're probably not going to do it perfect next time. Neither did I. I will try to help you as much as possible so you can do it very good on the first time. But, well, probably you're going to have some bug and you're going to fix it on the way, okay? So... For now, I'm gonna try to use uh, this little thing and try to get all the connection on this. I haven't used it on a previous one. I think if I just had like one or two, I just solder everything and stuff. But uh, as I don't have, I'm gonna try with this. So, now I've finished to connect everything. First thing to do is to check if it's working. Plug the stuff and try on the remote. Hell yeah, that's working. Very cool. So, this part is going to be the part on my uh, steering wheel. Then, all this is going to be somewhere next to the frame. This is going to go in the front of the uni. This is what's going to go like on the frame uh, next to the wheel. And this is the two things that are going to go on a mud guard. Okay? So, now that I got my things nicely connected, what I want is to kind of secure the connection. And for this, I'm gonna use a hot gun and this thermal gain. Just look at it, very easy to do. So, for each connection with LED strip, you wanna cut like a two centimeter section of thermal gain. My strategy is pretty easy. You put the hot glue gun and then you put these things on top of it and if it doesn't work then you should put even more hot glue so once you got your connection secure it's gonna be time to install everything on the unicycle so first I've decided to put the LED on place with tape and then I'm just hot glue everything and the final touch, just put some zip tire here and there to even get the LED perfectly attached to the unicycle. And now the final touch, I just hot glue the remote on the handlebar so I can just change the light pretty freely as I'm riding. And once you've done this, that's pretty much it. You got your unicycle sorted. If you are looking for what to do it and you have struggled to know where to find the parts, I can make you a package with all the electronic parts for this. I do not expect to sell a lot of them, so if you're interested, just send me an email. I will put my email in the description of the video and we will arrange this together. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to share it with some friends who ride unicycle and stuff. It really helped me. And uh, you can also subscribe, last summer I've been riding unicycle around Estonia and uh, I had some pretty cool bike uh, bikepacking adventure around this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.